John Cage was a pioneer of the New York post-war avant-garde movement. As a composer, music theorist, artist and philosopher, he dedicated his life to the thorough exploration of sound, making him undoubtedly one of the most influential composers of the 20th century. But his 1952 composition, 433, caused quite the scandal. As David Tudor took to the stage and sat before the piano, the audience obviously anticipated hearing the twinkle of its keys. Instead, they heard what Cage claimed had took him five years to compose. And that was absolutely nothing. Or so they thought. Cage preached that true silence, the utopian ideal of serenity we often strive for, doesn't exist. Cage concluded that actually, silence was the absence of intention. And this observation was manifested within 433. The piece, whenever it is played, is performed by the audience and the environment, all framed within four minutes, 33 seconds. The conventional coughing fit, the fidgeting, the uncontrollable giggle, all find themselves part of the manuscript of 433, a piece that is constantly being rewritten. Because of this, no two performances of 433 are the same. The lack of intention provides a musical freedom that no amount of experimentation can come close to obtaining. The beauty of 433 is that the listener is just as involved in the musical performance as the performer. But when I listened to it on Spotify, I couldn't have felt more of an onlooker. All the sounds were presented to me on a bed of Mike Hiss. Cage said that the performance should make clear to the listener that the hearing of the piece is his own action, that the music, so to speak, is his rather than the composer's. The version of 433 on Spotify certainly didn't feel like mine. Instead, listeners are forced to eavesdrop on somebody else's experience. And well, if that's the case, 433 really is just an amalgamation of meaningless noise. If you truly want to listen to 433, get yourself a timer. Set it to 4 minutes 33 seconds, wherever you are. On the bus, on a train, in a cafe, on the beach, anywhere and just listen. Hear the piece that took John Cage five years to compose, water, water. a piece where he denied his own self-expression to empower you, the listener.